Cancer, welcome to your singles reading for January 2020. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Cancer, welcome in. I hope everybody's doing well. Mary, well, you may see this after Christmas, so I hope you had a nice Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, so we're going to take a look here, Cancer, um, at who may be coming towards you and how we're going to look at an energy. Look, We're going to look at two energies and I guess pick what side is yours. And then we're going to uh, get the energy around that and then how the energy will come together. And once it comes together, what that energy will, will be like um, as a couple or, you know, just together, however that resonates for you. So you do have to be single in some sense. Uh, whether you're separated, whether um, it's an ex, whether you just like somebody, you're not sure how they feel, or maybe they don't even know who you are, or you could complete be completely single with absolutely nobody in your life. So we'll see how this plays out. I do, if you're new, I do do a love connection reading. So if you're already in a connection with somebody, um, you can also watch that reading and maybe that will resonate for you also. So all your playlists are below in the description box. So you can check out the description box. There's tons of stuff, uh, stuff down there, your playlist, how to reach out for personal reading, social media, um, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there. So feel, feel free to check that out. So let's see what's going on with Cancer Singles at this time. I say at this time, even though it's dated for January, I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel. So if you'd like to go back and watch past uh, readings, please feel free. All right, so we're gonna say at this time, for whenever you see this, till whenever. So we have Gemini's, one sign here. I'm just gonna pull whoop, a couple signs. Um, if these don't resonate, that's fine. But like I said, if you're totally single with nobody, these could be possible signs. For you so we have um gemini and virgo so we have air and earth gemini virgo okay so what i'm going to do now with this deck here so i get like opening energy uh if you feel like it's your energy now if you feel like well gee that don't doesn't really resonate with me it could be the energy of the uh, other person or the possible incoming other person or it also could be your future mutual energy with this person so just going to get an opening energy here see what it is so what is the opening energy here for cancer spirit please cancer singles at this time okay i feel like this is well i got two here so i don't want to take two so let's see which one i'm guided to take and we'll take this one all right so we have evolution Earth changes, climate change, transformation. Four or five is nine, and nine is almost the end of uh, something, end of a cycle, because nine comes ten, ten is the ending, and then after ten is one is a new beginning. So evolution, so something could be evolving here or changing, or it could be a very transformative connection. You could be transforming out of something, evolving out of something, or maybe they are becoming single, or maybe you're just becoming single. So I don't know, we'll see how that plays out. So what I'm going to do here now, Cancer, is I'm going to put an energy on this side and one on this side. I guess pick a side, whatever side you resonate with, and um, we'll look at the energies around that. We'll see how it comes together and then see how it plays out after that. So this is a new style I'm doing to the singles reading. So if you watched my past singles reading um, and you prefer that style better than this style, please leave a comment below. Let me know which way you like better. If you're not familiar with my past singles reading, you can, uh, again, click the description box below. Um, we'll go to the description box, find the love playlist. You can go in there and you'll see the singles reading for December. And uh, you can check that out. And you can let me know which one you like better. I thought this would be a little bit different, so I kind of created the spread it's almost like the love connection reading but it's just a little bit different so let's see get an energy on this side we have thinking of you a loving thought serendipity 29 <laughs> and that is 11 that's like half of the twin flame number wow some of you you could be connecting with the twin flame maybe you're searching for your twin flame maybe you don't even know who they are and you like think of them you, you kind of think of the energy they always say twin flame is an energy not a person so like you think of the energy you have in your mind, maybe you've seen 
glimpses of an image in your mind and you're like, who is this person? Could be your twin flame. Maybe you think of that often. And it could be serendipity. A serendipity here somehow brings the two of you together. I, I don't know. We'll see here. So let's see. This side here has apprehension. Moving out into the world. Doubt, fear. 18 is 9. So we've got two 9s here. So it could be this person, because uh, this over here was 9. This person on this side could have apprehension about starting new, starting over, getting involved in something new. Uh, getting out into the world to find something new. They're having that doubt, doubt fear, apprehension about really um, going into something new, I feel. If you feel like this is you, then this could be a person over here or a possible person coming into you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment, 25 to 7. And 7, you know, it's about, you know, maybe waiting for a time. It's also about uh, patience and planning uh, confusion kind of energy. So somebody was stuck in a situation that, uh, they evolved out of, but now they have apprehension about moving forward, uh, into something new. Could be you or this other person that could possibly be coming towards you or that you're thinking of. Maybe you know this person, maybe you don't. Um, how about this resonates for you? Wow. So let's see. <sighs> wow. So that's, a lot of energy there. So somebody's apprehensive. They freed themselves from something, but because of what they've been through, I feel it might have been a very toxic, bad relationship. Now uh, they're feeling very apprehensive about moving, you know, into something new. All right. So let's get some energy on this side. Let's get some energy on this side. See, I feel like this side is more positive and this side is, this side is like kind of like ready. This reminds me of the sun where happiness, joy and all that kind of energy. And this side is like very fearful. So, okay. Let's see. And it could be this side too also had been through something, but that, you know, they got over it already and they're, you know, just in a good place now. Or this side is just like ready for their soulmate to inflame to come in. My card's upside down. No, we got the five of one. So this is uh, no conflict, no more conflict. This person on this side is no longer conflicted on things of the past or things that may have worn them down before or, you know, wanting somebody new. This person, the five of ones in reverse, there's absolutely no conflict in their mind about, um, yeah, because we have Knight of Pentacles, so they're very stable and grounded. You know, they're ready if it, it takes a lot of slow growth, nurturing, caring, giving being smart, practical, working on it slowly. No, they're up for that too. But they're definitely standing here as the King of Cups energy. And that is your energy, Cancer. So I felt like this could be your sign. Because King of Cups is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's your energy. So somebody who is in tune and touch with their emotions, their feelings, they know they're ready. They're, you know, they want this loving connection, relationship, twin flame, soulmate. They're ready for it. They're ready to work on it very slowly. They're not conflicted. They just know they're ready. And they're hoping either for this energy to come into them or to have the serendipity bring them their person in some way. All right. So let's get some energy. That's way too many. Around this apprehension on this side. On this side. For this side. What is this apprehension about? Knight of Wands. So, you know, this is moving forward. A lot of drive, ambition, passion, uh, go-getter kind of energy. So this is someone that goes after what they want, but they're apprehensive about it. But this is success and victory. And now we got a lot of fire energy. We didn't have any fire come out there, but now we're getting fire energy. So, I mean, this person, I mean, I feel like they want success, victory in a relationship. They want to go after it. But this apprehensive energy is just holding them back. Let's get one more energy. Or, you know, let's see. Yeah, the hangman. Exactly. Wow. Wow. Yep, the hangman energy here. Exactly. Holding them back. This hangman energy is holding them back. They have fear, apprehension, and they want to move out into the world. They want success and victory in a relationship. But... This apprehension is holding them back with the hanged man. It's like they're not taking action on it. Because this major over trumps the minor. So this is a major with the hanged man. So 
Wow. Okay. So let's get, oh, let's get an energy over here now. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> this person here is ready. They're ready for fate, destiny to turn in their favor. They're ready. Um, they're ready to get this moving, get this turning, get this. They're ready for divine timing to step in here and bring them their soulmate twin flame. They're ready. This person's ready. They're not conflicted. They're not confused. They want their happiness and joy. They want their person, whether they know them or not. They just want the universe to bring them to them. And they are ready for the universe to bring it in with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Okay. This person is ready on that side. So let's see on this side with the hangman energy. Oh, let's get one. Okay. The two of wands. So yeah, they're... <laughs> trying to make a decision here they're trying it's like they want to but they don't want to like get out into the world and you know they're trying to make a decision here but this is about you know making plans and decisions for your future so they're probably you know this, i feel like this person's deciding do i want to be alone the rest of my life or do i want to find somebody i don't know what i want to do they're looking out to the world but yet they're holding back but they want they want to take action. They want a successful connection, but they're just very apprehensive and stuck. But they're looking like, I can see them looking out their window like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But yet they want it at the same time. Wow. Okay. So let's see if these uh, energies will come together. Let's see if these energies will come together for you, Cancer. Well, we got the King of Swords. So this is like divine energy. Swords is always like divine energy to me. This is air energy here. So that's the Gemini. So this is clear thinking. This is uh, standing up. This is, you know, clear communication, thinking clearly. Swords is winter time. So we're in winter now. This could happen. The Wheel of Fortune is kind of like, could be any time. It could happen. So it could be this winter. And the King of Swords energy sometimes can be like a um, very smart person. They can be a lawyer, a judge, a doctor, or something like that. So, I mean, you could be traveling this winter somewhere, maybe for the holidays. And maybe you meet this person, uh, I don't know, maybe you meet them. Maybe you meet them on a plane and they're a judge, they're a doctor, they're a lawyer, they're a police officer, they're in the military, I don't know, something like that. Because we got the Wheel of Fortune can be... a Sometimes it can be about travel. It's, you know, it's divine timing, but the two of wands here, he's got the world in his hand, looking out, making plans. So, you know, it could be that, you know, you're traveling and, you know, you meet this person uh, this winter around the holidays. You do see a wreath here. So, and you, I do see here that this raven is about to untie this man from this tree. So I think this person, I mean, even though they're apprehensive, they're like almost at the point where, okay, I... You know, I'm looking out and I got a wand in hand. I got the world in my hand. I'm just, I'm just almost there. I'm almost ready. Just a little bit of apprehension holding them back. But okay, so swords, winter, could be this winter. And I'm getting like, while you're traveling, you can meet them. And they could be, like I said, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, mil uh, officer military, doctor, uh, nurse, something like that. A uh, very smart kind of person medical field or law field or something like that or you meet them in some kind of setting like that for some reason but somehow the wheel with the wheel here on your side is going to i think it's going to push you to in some way shape or form unknowingly to this person because they're looking at you on this side and then it's like divine energy here with the divine wheel also bringing this together and it could be this winter time. So, okay, so if this comes together, this comes together for the two of you. You could be male, female watching this, doesn't matter. And this could just be e the situation evolving here because you see like evolution and it almost reminds me of the chakras being lit up, going in an upward direction, um, which is that evolution uh, energy. So let's see, a couple energy here. So now we've got the Queen of Pentacles energy. And the Four of Cups. Wow. So, oh, so the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, that's very stable, secure energy. Somebody, and it's kind of on your side, so I feel like you're the stable, secure one. And I think they're going to be like, well, I don't know. You know, you're like set, secure, stable, you know. Okay, 
I'm ready. I know I'm stable. I'm grounded. I'm good. I'm ready to nurture, care, give, and plant these seeds. And they're like, hmm, well, I just don't know. <laughs> they're very, like, still, like, like you offering that to them. And they're like, uh, I don't know. Even if it's like, hey, let's go, you know, for a cup of coffee or something. And they're going to be like, I don't know. I don't know. So let's get more energy around this. Magician. So, yeah, you're wanting to manifest this forward. <laughs> Manifesting a brand new beginning. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, which is coming true with the Nine of Cups energy, which fulfillment. But then we have the shadow side, which is the devil energy, and it's coming up on their side. So I still think they have some inner demons, shadows to deal with about their past. I think they're still a little apprehensive. I think whatever they went through um, really did a number on them. And, you know, the devil doesn't have to be necessarily they have addictions obsessions it just could be this fear anxiety you know that can be that toxic energy within themselves and having to heal that within themselves and be totally open and ready it's like they want to be in this energy but they're still too much in this apprehensive energy and still trying to conquer their fears their doubts their shadow side but right in the middle here is wish fulfillment so this could be a very fulfilling connection i feel if this person could heal and get over uh, their past or their situations. And it's like you you meet them and you know, and I think you know, wow, this is like my, my person, my wish, my dream come true. I've been waiting for serendipity here to bring us together. And now they're stuck in that energy. And you just want to like wave your magic wand over them and like, Say, come on, let's go, you know. <laughs> and I'm seeing the infinity symbol there. I mean, you could have had past lives with this person, possibly. All right, so let's get a couple more on this. Knight of Swords. So, you know, rushing ahead kind of quickly here. And now the Chariot. Two energies here. Wow, and that's your energy, Cancer. So this is moving forward very quickly. This could move forward. Um very very quickly but just be careful that if they're still stuck in this toxic energy shadow side um i don't know because you've got two people going in separate directions here but very quickly so i don't know let's see what possible outcome could be with this okay possible outcome with this now we got the King of Wands. So we have a lot of energy here. Fire energy now. That's that very fiery, passionate, go getter energy. Being very, um, just a go getter energy. You know, just very fiery, passionate. They're not afraid to go after what they want. So, I mean, it could be this person finally comes out of it here and they finally just go after it and they finally go from, the, from a knight, you know, to a king energy. And I feel it could move forward very uh, quickly. It could be by fall, you're more serious. Um, we do have cups here, two cards of cups. So, I mean, you could, um, you know, start to date, like talk through the winter and maybe by fall, you know, things start to get more serious. And there maybe could be a little apprehensive around that time, but then summer comes. And then I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is fall. It could be next fall that you're very serious with this person. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Empress. So that's divine feminine energy. You know, birth of new things. You know, stable, grounded, passionate, fiery, loving, caring, giving. Here's a fiery, passionate communication. Working together here. Uh, good news coming in and justice being served here. You know, karma balancing out. Truth, clarity, liberating energy. And we have liberation over there. So this is like the um, same card with justice. So, you know, this whole situating, just liberate, liberating, good news coming in, working together, working on it. And I felt like fall, and here's fall with the pentacle. I think things will be more solid. And it seems like a long time away, but um, fiery, passionate communication coming in could be spring. And we do have the Empress here, which is about a stable, sturdy, grounded a birth of something new. So... So let's get uh, some closing messages for you, Cancer, with this new person, this incoming person, whether they're new or somebody you already know. So I do feel like possibly this winter you could run into them, meet them. I feel like maybe during holiday travels or something like that. 
our vacation. They, uh, you could meet them on a train, uh, a plane, a bus, I don't know, some traveling or something. And they could be a lawyer, a judge, um, police officer, military, doctor, nurse, uh, something like that. Counselor, I mean, it could be anything where they use their mind or they use their hands because you see they have the sword. And you could, you know, get to know them this winter. And then I feel uh, by spring, you know, things may get a little more serious. Summer, they may be getting a little apprehensive around summer if it gets a little too serious. But then I see by next fall, things could really start to solidify in this connection if you choose to, um, you know, keep investing in this connection or this possible new person. So let's get some closing messages here. Wow. For you. Uh, Actually, I want one, and then we'll do the bottom of the deck, Cancer. So I do ask Cancer, if you like how I read, to please like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do four different readings a month for every sign. I do an uh, element energy reading every week. So um, check out my channel. You like what you see. Feel free to uh, subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out if you do. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel in whichever way you have, whether you've just subscribed, reached out for personal reading, tip, donated, super chat, whatever you did, it's truly appreciated, so thank you. So we have here, closing message, High Priestess of Spirit, number seven. Seven is a very spiritual number. It's a very divinely guided number. And I felt that divine energy with the King of Swords. When I get the King, the Queen, or the Ace, I don't know, Spirit has me read it as divine energy along with the you know meaning of the cards but because sword is all about truth clarity mind and that energy and it's always like the truth so it's like divine truth so the high priest of spirit is like spirit shedding light on this whole situation in truth and clarity this could be a divinely guided person here uh cancer so let's see what uh, is on the bottom of the deck here. We have focus, 17, which is 8. And 8 is about movement and travel, action, communication, focus. And you see the um, archer here almost reminds me of Sagittarius, but I feel like I feel like once the two of you are able to really focus your attention just solely on each other, the connection, and um, this person is no longer apprehensive, they, you know, they've totally evolved, and now ready now to be a king of wands, a king of swords, fiery, passionate, clear thinking, honest and truthful, and get out of the shadow negative energy from the past and truly focus on, you know, the connection, you healing themselves. This could be possibly a possible uh, soulmate twin flame connection here. Wow, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, so best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.